Well, as a person who was born and raised in Oak Cliff, a person who yet went into a school by the name of Oliver Wendell Holmes, knowing the history of a man that literally, his decision was the bridge gate of Board versus Brown versus the Board of Education. And being in a school and a man that didn't think I had the right to get an equal and equitable education, it is imperative that we do all we can to make sure that our children, black and brown, have people who they can look up to and reflect. And yet, at the end of the day, what is better in Dallas ISD than actually naming it after a person who has walked the halls of these children so that my, my nephew, who currently goes to this school, sir, Jalen Alexander, can be that next, can be that next state senator. <laughs> that next day senator, that next lawyer, that all he can be. In moments where we look at so many areas of our community where the social economic element is being stripped and out, we can give all hope and possibility of children at school. I am so grateful to the administration of Dr. Stephanie Elizade, the board president, Justin Henry, and this guy, he calls me trouble number one, but he's actually trouble number one. I don't know why he has the audacity to call me that because he literally called me at 1 a.m. last night, not me calling him. Uh, Trustee Maxie Johnson, I want y'all to, man, y'all give him a hand, man. <laughs> at the end of the day, I am proud of my friend and all of the work that he has done since the moment I have met him on December 7, 2015, it has been a blessing and a burden. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I am truly grateful of all of his accomplishment. And because I was raised by a church mother that has always said, beside every great man is a great woman, I want to acknowledge his wife, his beautiful wife, Carol West. Y'all give her a hand.